What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over Code Forces round 667A, yet another two integer problem. Okay, so basically you're given two integers A and B and you have to choose a number K to add to A. You want to get A to B, right? So you have a num two numbers A and B and you want to get A to B. And basically all you, uh, what you do is um, you could do make a move. Uh, to make a move, you just add a number, uh, number K which is between one to 10, right? And you could use different values of K in different moves. So now our job is to find the minimum number of moves it takes to get from A to B, okay? So I hope th that I, I basically summed that up pretty nicely, but I'll try, try to explain it again. We have a number A, so uh, I'll use this basic test case and the problem, uh, 13. 13 is our number A, right? And we have a number B is in 42. We want to get A to B in the minimum number of moves. So you, so a move we could do is that we have to add a number K from one to 10. So one move we could do is, so one move is basically adding a number of K and this K is between one to 10. Okay. This K is an element of one to 10. Okay. Uh, this symbol is just an element symbol, but th this K you could add a K or you could subtract a K. That's an element of one to 10. Okay. Okay. So th that's what, that's what you could do. And our job is to find the minimum number of moves it takes to get from A to B. So, um, basically what I did was I just, if you want, if you want to think about this, you have to think about, uh, the num minimum number of moves it takes. Right. So first, uh, what I did was I looked at B first and I realized if, if I want to get from A to B, I have to subtract, right? Cause uh, there's a certain number of values it would take to get from A to B. So what I did with first was I just subtract, um, 42 minus 13 and that gets me 29. Okay. So this would be like the difference between both of these 42 minus 13, the difference between both of these, right? So if you're going to, um, there's a certain number of moves you have to make to get your difference to 20, uh, 29, right. To get from a to B. So now, because we, what you want to find the minimum number of moves it takes, you have to think about minimizing the number of moves. Well, now think about this. If you want to minimize the number of moves, what should you do for each move? If I can only add a number K from one to 10, right? I want to minimize the number of moves it takes. So what does that mean? I should maximize the amount of K I'm going to add. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? I need to maximize the number of K I'm going to add. So then the number of times I'm adding K is going to be minimum as possible, right? So if I'm going to minimize the number of moves it takes, I have to look at the maximum value of K I could add. And that's this 10. Okay. That's this 10. So what should I do here? At this point, I should take 29, our difference of 29 and mod it by 10, the maximum K that I could use, which is 10. And that will get me to, um, 29 mod by 10 here is going to get me nine, right? Okay. So that's the, that's the, uh, the remainder when you mod by 10, it would get you nine. Right. So that, what are the number of times I could do for the moves I would take, right? The moves it would take to get from 29, uh, the moves it would take for each move. Well, it would take two moves, right? Two moves to get me to a remainder of nine to get me close to 42, right? Cause if I used to do two moves, I add by 10 each time I'm going to get 13 plus two uh, plus 10 plus 10, right? Two moves. And that's going to get me to, uh, 33, right? But then I have a, a, uh, leftover of nine remainder of nine here, right? So if, if I need to, so if, if I get, have this case where I'm adding by 10 every time, right? I use the maximum number of times it takes. I need to, ha if I have a remainder, I need to add another move. Okay. So if I, if I do a move of 10, 10, 10, the next move it would take should be another 10, right? So this would be, should be, should, should take three moves. 
So then I could, uh, this would get me past 42. So this would get me 43. So the minimum number of moves it would take would actually be three, right? If I have a remainder at this point, right? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? So if, if I'm going to do a certain number of moves every time, right? I want to minimize the number of moves. I need to make sure each move is maximum as possible. Okay. So if I'm making each move maximum as possible, I'm taking the difference modding by the maximum number it would take to make a move in this case, 10, and that would get me the difference. It would take the remainder. If this remainder exists, I need to have another move. So I add another move to my end result. So that's basically how you do this problem. What I did here was I took the difference. I'll look at, I'll show you guys the code. What I did, I took the difference between a and B, right? Assuming the larger value is a, right? We take the larger value and we take the difference between both of them, right? The difference we mod by 10. The reason why we mod by 10 is 10 is the largest possible number that we could do for each move. Okay. So once we mod by 10, we check, does this equal to zero, right? Because if it, if it doesn't equal to zero, which means we have a remainder here, we need to add another move. We need to take another move of 10 for our result. So we add by one. So that's what I did here. I took a minus B divided by 10 add by one, and that will get you the result there. Otherwise you should just divide by 10. That would be the number of moves it would take for you. Okay. Cause that would be like, let's say it was like 40 or something and you, or 20, it takes two moves, right? And it actually took two moves and then it, it didn't take you anything at all here. There would be no remainder. Then you just leave it out, right? You just have two moves at that point. So yeah, that's basically how you do this problem. You need to basically to figure out this problem. You just have to t find out difference between a and B, the number of moves right here. And then you, you mod by the maximum possible value for each move in this case would be 10. And then, yeah. And then if it doesn't equal to zero, you add one to the end result. If it does, then you just do nothing, right? You just, it would just, you just divide by 10 here. So that that's basically what I did for this, this problem. Um, so also to get rid of the negatives, any negatives that it could occur, I swapped a and B, whichever is the larger one. So the larger ones on the first and yes, so, so on for so forth. So then there's no like negative values, right? So that would, cause each move you could have positive or negative each move. You could add K or subtract K. So the difference really doesn't matter that much, right? To avoid all the negatives jargon, because we only care about the number moves. All right. So that's basically how you do this problem. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, this problem is just, uh, yet another two integer problem. I'm going to explain the other two in another two videos and I'm going to upload those. Sorry guys, if I haven't been uploading at all, at all lately, but I'm trying to keep up my upload schedule, but yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.